if you have a CDV 700 and you want to use probes other than the one that came with it, you could put a BNC tap on your CDV 700 like I did, but let's say you don't want to modify the CDV, you just want to use it the way it is. There's three easy ways to do it. One of them, if you've got money and can afford to do this, is to buy the CDV 700 replacement probe. These are still sold. They were issued for the government as an upgrade. It simply screws in the base. No tools required. A very sensitive probe. It's a nice upgrade if you can afford to do it. Let's say you don't want to spend that much money but you have some other probes. You can make an adapter. The original socket base for the CDV 700 was an Amphenol 78S3S. Got all the parts listed up there. These can still be purchased. If you take this and the BNC panel mount, number one pin is hot, the center, the number two and three are ground. I've soldered these together to make an adapter. The adapter goes in here, and now I have a BNC port. But this doesn't change the voltage. Most of my probes don't run on 900 volts. They run on either 450 or 750. <coughs> to adapt that, I made a little box with some Zener diodes turned backwards and a switch. The Zener diodes, the 1N 5378B, if you turn the Zener diodes backwards, that is to say, this is the band on the zener. It faces the positive, so you get a voltage drop. When I flip the switch this way, it's wired up to drop through two zeners. If I flip it this way, it drops through five zeners. This is a 450 volt probe. There's a different one. This one is a 450 volt probe. So. I can now use that probe without having to modify my CDV. This probe runs on 750 volts. It's what it looks like. It's a PDR27. Put the switch the other way. Open the window. The third way, instead of using this kind of an adapter, is to make a cable with the same Zener diodes. This one has five turned backwards with the same sort of amphenol connector, so it just simply plugs in and this is a dedicated cable. It's only 400, it's only going to drop 500 volts. I don't have, it won't run that probe right there. but. It runs that one just fine. And in the end, I can put my CDV back together. And it's no worse for wear. Now, the audio port on the CDV was originally a Switchcraft 2501F. You can still find these, but they're hard to, harder to find and more expensive than simply going to Radio Shack and buying an antenna connector. This is a PL259. It has the same shell diameter and threads, but the center pin has to be cut down a bit so that it'll fit. If you do that, then you can make yourself a patch cable to go into a battery-powered speaker and not have to use the original headphones. You can also tap off of this and go to a USB sound port. These don't require drivers. They're about $5 off of eBay. If you wanted to record the clicks from your CD, you would simply run them into the microphone and then into your computer and you can record your CD without having to modify them.